So here she is, the reigning Olympic champion, a former world champion. She's been out of the skating scene for the last couple of years. It just got back, won right at the end of last year in Dortmund, won Korean nationals, and she goes in as one of the favorites because she's been relatively inactive, seated to skate early on. Kim Yuna from Korea. Perfectly. Triple Lutz, triple toe loop. Well, that was absolutely superb. Looks as though she's never been away. Beautiful, graceful choreography into the triple flip. Beautifully done. flowing edge again out of that double axle. Yeah, difficult entry into that from the spread eagle as well. People standing right around the rink here. A phenomenal performance to come back after a gap of two years. Yes, she's been in a couple of events, but not with the quality that she's up against here. It was as if it was yesterday that she finished her top flight competitive skating. Still remarkably young at the age of 22, but she's back big time. Kim Yu Na from Korea. Well, after a performance like that, she's got to be the girl to beat. That was just sensational. The quality of skating, the edge work throughout the program. Certainly second to none that we've seen so far. She really has thrown down the gauntlet now to the skaters in the last couple of groups. They're going to have to go some to beat that. Because she's been relatively inactive, she's only been seated in this third group, all the big guns to go in the final group, so that may have an impact on the marking. It shouldn't, but sometimes it does. There's that combination at the beginning, lovely running edge coming out of that, just about made the rotation on the first part, the Lutz, but super control on that toe loop at the end. Lovely flow. Here she is setting up the flip, nice step, a bit of footwork into it. Just about a back inside edge on that, but just look at the control on the way out. Could have been a single. I had her on level fours on all the spins. Here's a double axle from the spread eagle position. Just gives the judges the opportunity to go up and straight it back into the choreography of the program. It's fascinating, isn't it? Because she went to Canada to train after she won Olympics. 
and it didn't really work out. Seemed to fall out of love. Obviously, a huge amount of money to be earned off ice. And she's moved back to Korea. She has Korean coaches. Some may be surprised at. But they've done a terrific job mentally and technically. She's at her best. She really is. Yeah, we've seen skaters come back in the past, and uh, we, we wish they hadn't, to be honest with yeah. you. But not in this case. She looks like she's never been away. Absolutely sensational. Well, her best score, 78.50. We're expecting something like that. Well, that's the best score ever. Yeah. That's a score, was that the best routine ever? Well, it was pretty close to it, surely. The short program score, 69.97. 69? Well, she's going to go into the lead, but underwhelmed. Very surprised they're as low as that. Yeah, the technical score, just a, a point and a half more than the current leader.